strap it up and put it on because it's going to be a <laughs> hard-hitting game in Baltimore. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, CBS Sports' is Charlie Casserly. Glad to be with you on the NFL previews presented by Comcast. It's a 4.15 p.m. Eastern kick between the number one defense in Pittsburgh and the number two defense in Baltimore. And Charlie, these teams look like they're mere images of each other. Uh, well, they're certainly defensively. They're both outstanding defenses. They're both physical up front. Uh, they both can stop the run. They both have excellent linebacker play. They've got pass rushers on both sides. Both uh, have really good safeties, Ed Reed, Troy Palomalo. Uh, the difference probably is how they play in, 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 at the corner position. Pittsburgh's more zone. Baltimore's more man-to-man. -man, but they both rely on pressure, stop the run, physical, force turnover, sack the quarterback. There's huge playoff implications in this game as well. Uh, Baltimore 9-4. The Steelers up there at 10 and 3. Let's take a look at the uh, at the uh, division standings. And you know, if the Steelers win this game, they win the division. But for them, they also still have a shot at getting home field throughout the playoffs because the Titans, they have the Texans, they have the Steelers, and they have the Colts. It's not right. an easy road for Tennessee. For the Ravens, they still have a shot at winning the division and, of course, making the playoffs as well. Do you think we're going to see both of these teams in the playoffs when we get to January? No, I don't. I, I think which I, I think. The Colts are going to make the playoffs, and somebody else is going to come out of the uh, AFC. So I think two teams out of the AFC. I think Baltimore um, is going to is going to get a great shot, but I think they're going to fade a little bit here at the and end. And they have to go to Dallas next week as well. But that's for next week's preview. So let's okay. keep going with this one, Charlie. The, the question here is, you know, you saw the defensive numbers and the rankings for these two teams. So can either team even attempt to establish the run on the other? Well, I think attempt is a word that is very accurate here because Baltimore is going to attempt to run the ball. They have to do that. Their passing game is not good enough. Pittsburgh, hey, Pittsburgh doesn't live and die by the run. P Pittsburgh will get out, get out of the running game a lot faster than Baltimore will. But at the end of the day, I don't think either team is going to have great success uh, running the football. So that means it comes down to quarterback play and the offensive line and the combination of the two. Now, we've talked all year long that the Steelers have a hard time protecting Ben Roethlisberger. It is still a young offensive line with the Baltimore Ravens. Which combo would you take? Roethlisberger and the Steelers offensive line or Flacco and his offensive line? I, I think I'm going to take Ben Roethlisberger because he's a lot better quarterback than Joe Flacco at this point in time. And I think everybody understands it. You know, you can see his stats here aren't great, but he, he can make more plays in the passing game because of his experience. He's also a very hard guy to sack. And I think at the tight end position, combined with the receiver position, I think excuse me, the Steelers are a little bit head there as far as playmakers go. But Joe Flacco is better than the last time they played at Pittsburgh when, you know, Baltimore didn't embarrass themselves. They played very well at sure a chance did. to win at the end of the game. Where do you think maybe we'll be able to see him look better in this game than he did in that one? Well, I think, first of all, it's the confidence factor. He's not turning the ball over uh, at, at right now at this point in the season. He has more confidence in what he's doing. The team has more confidence in what they're doing with him. And I think the deep passing game, this is where he's improved because the play action, which that's why they'll try to run the ball and they'll stay after it just to set up the play action. But his accuracy and his poise on the deep passing game, that will give the Ravens a little bit of a chance to make some plays in this game. He showed some toughness this season as well from getting hit knocked down, especially in that Pittsburgh game as well. Uh, you know, there's one other thing to Pittsburgh here, and they're coming off a game in which they probably shouldn't have won. They did win. We've seen that a couple of times this year. San Diego is a game where you ask yourself, how did they win that one? They won it 11 to 10. The Dallas game last week, same thing. Is that possibly something that starts to build, hey, we can win any game in any situation no matter what's left on the clock? Well, there's no question that that's a huge part. And it's called confidence. And it's called in the fourth quarter being able to have the confidence, even though you're behind or even, and even and especially on the road, to be able to come through in the clutch and win games like that. On the other hand, it shows you that they're a team that's certainly not unbeatable because when you play that many close games, that means you are vulnerable when you get into a game in the fourth quarter. Let's take a look at what AccuScore says about this game. 10,000 tests, 10,000 results, all mathematical. Who does the computer like to win? It's almost a toss-up, but hey, home field advantage is playing a role a little bit here. 53% of the time, the Ravens come out on top on the computer. Charlie, who do you like to win? I like Pittsburgh to win in this game for what we just talked about. They've been able to find ways to win uh, close games. I think their defense uh, will have more of an advantage against the P uh, Baltimore offense. Maybe look at it this way. The Baltimore offense is not as good as the Pittsburgh uh, offense. And excuse me, the Pittsburgh offense is better than the Baltimore offense. So what you have is two great defensive teams, and you got a better quarterback in Ben Roethlisberger. He makes the difference in a close game. And as long as he doesn't make the mistakes, 
I agree with you. That That's certainly something to look for in this game. For more on this one or any other here in Week 15, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Watch everything else on the CBS Audience Network. For Charlie Casterly, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.